How many times do you miss the green from this distance? We're in a scoring position here. We're wanting to hit the green. We're wanting to get your scores down. But there's one massive thing that I see it set up from 95% of golfers that they get wrong consistently. And it's consistently your aim. So we're not aiming where we want to go. And a lot of people start to have all different routines. So how many times do you see people come in? Okay, they're looking at the flag looking at the flag, get comfortable, and I'll stop them there and I'll say, oh, are you looking, are you aiming correctly? And they'll say, yes. And if we actually look, we'll start to see that we're aiming 50, 60 yards to the right. And that's because you're just using your head to obviously visualize and look where you are, but your body could be in all sorts of positions. All sorts of trouble is caused from that. And another thing that I see from a lot of golfers, my granddad used to do this very much so, before I was a PGA professional, I thought it was good. But obviously what he used to do is he'd get set up there, then he'd stand up, I was hoping you weren't say this. get that on his legs, and he'd be like, yeah, I'm aiming perfect there. Absolutely straight at the flag. And then he'd miss the green, and then he'd be like, Phew, dodgy golf ball, that, it, there must be something wrong with the golf ball, it can't have been me, because I was aiming perfect and I've struck it like a dream. But that is not getting us into the correct position. So we want a routine to allow you to aim towards your target. And for me, a good place to start is behind the golf ball, obviously looking at the flag and start to pick something just in front of the golf ball and aim your club first. Bring it in with one hand, get the club face set first and keep one hand on that because we don't want that to move. From here, I want to be nice and light on the grip so it can't move. I'm gonna bring my stance in and I'm going to then set my feet into that position. The last thing I'm gonna do is bring my left hand on and take my grip. You see straight away there now, my feet are matching with the club face. I am now parallel to my target. And that's a big thing that obviously people misunderstand obviously a lot of people back in the day when we was getting taught train tracks you've got to think of your club and your feet as train tracks so where do your feet not point james target correct i've thrown him out there he's looking at some mallards oh, flying yeah, past yeah, mallards having a bit of a scrap but yes our, our feet don't point towards the target because if we are our feet are pointing to the target straight away there my club is aiming right of the flag and we're then obviously if you're a slicer of the golf ball my lords are coming for you james then we're gonna have problems hitting the green and this is all we want to do all we're trying to do is get you to hit greens if we hit one more green in regulation per round on average by the stats it says you should save one shot per hole so if we can hit maybe three more greens we're going to save you three shots and all by just getting that aim correct so behind the golf ball in pick your point for your club face nice and light build your stance and from here i can now commit to that shot Get the ball starting online and start to hopefully lower my scores. Right next to the flag, good interaction with the turf and very easy from a simple routine to get your aim right. One of the biggest things that people overlook, is it my clubs, am I coming over the top? No, it is just your aim. So you can see here down on the green guys, you can see if I start to get my aim a little bit better, I've also got my distance control better because we're not having a glancing blow. So the club's likely to come back in more square. We're going to then start to get the distance exactly what we expected. There was 120 yards out. That was my pitching wedge. And you can see from here, that'd be well inside tour average. Tour average from 120 is around about 25 feet to 30 feet. So you can see that I'd say maybe 10, 12 feet. So not too bad at all well inside tour average yes i'm not going to do that every time can but if, roll it in? can we roll it in but if i can start to obviously get my club face square i can get my distance control better and hopefully have a few more birdies and i will repair that pitch mark surely let's get it lined up glove off Put it and chipping today so far. So, guys, there, I've made it much easier by getting my aim correct, striking the ball better, controlling my distance, and rolling in a putt.